We have some breaking news from Providence City Hall. A proposed rule change prompted by the arrest of the former city council president is dead for now. Councilors pushed for this evening's meeting after Luis Aponte initially refused to step down. He did resign last Friday. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live from City Hall with the breaking details. Caroline. Well, Mike, this special meeting was the first time Councilwoman Sabina Matos filled in as acting president. During that meeting, which lasted all of about five minutes, councilors made several key decisions. The first, as you said, was to withdraw a rule change that would allow council to remove the president by a majority vote. As you know, Luis Aponte resigned as president on Friday after he was recently indicted on four charges for allegedly misusing his campaign money. There is currently no way for council to remove a president, so they were forced to wait for him to resign on his own. Councilman Aponte didn't show up to tonight's meeting, but we did catch up with a few counselors after the decision. One who says this situation with Aponte is rare. The other who says policy change for the future isn't out of the question. We're not going to be uh, in this sort of position again. Uh, these are unusual circumstances uh, that are behind us. We are looking forward to conducting the business that's before us for the people in the city of Providence. I think we have to review all the rules of the city council, and we there's many. There are different council members that have concerns about different issues, and I think we should call for a rules uh, committee to meet and review all the rules. Now, as far as when a new city council president will be named, both councilors told me they aren't going to rush that decision. There are several key items on their agenda that they'd like to tackle first. Now, also at today's meeting, the council formally declared Kevin Jackson's Ward 3 seat as vacant. He was recalled just a couple of weeks ago. Now a special election will be held in order to fill that vacant seat in Ward 3. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.